G'day guys, my name's Dave and welcome to another Guitar Zero to Hero song tutorial. In this lesson, I'm gonna teach you how to play Norwegian Wood by The Beatles, an absolute classic. Now for the basics of this song, you will need your guitar in standard tuning and you'll need a capo on the second fret of your guitar. The guitar I'm playing here today is the Orange Wood Sage. If you wanna find out more, there's a link in the description below. If you wanna master your chords back to front, then be sure to head over to guitarzerotohero.com to pick up my free guitar ebook. Or if you wanna improve any guitar in general, then check out Guitar Zero to Hero Premium, which is my complete step-by-step -step guitar course. Let's jump into the lesson. Now this song is actually a lot easier to learn than it sounds. There's only two sections to this song. So there's the main riff and then there's the chorus, which is super, super simple. So the main riff is gonna be the trickiest part, but if we break it down, it's actually not that complicated. So for this main riff, there's just two lines of chords here. So I'm gonna start with the D chord. And for this first chunk, let's just strum the whole chord and you can strum from the fifth string Make sure you do mute the sixth string though with your thumb, just lightly touching it over the top like that. So for this first section, it's just a down, down, up, down. Then our next section is three down plucks, and this is where we're going to start implementing that riff. So for the first pluck, you're gonna actually use your pinky finger to hammer onto the fourth fret of the third string. Now you can just focus on the G string, but because this is a really freestyle way of playing, then you can hit other strings whilst you're hitting that G string and it'll sound fine as long as you're fretting the D chord. So you can hit more than one string or you can just focus on the G string if you want. So that's the first stroke. Then we lift our pinky finger. And again, the note that we do wanna focus on is on that G string. It's that second fret of the G string. Now again, you can hit other strings whilst you're at it, but the focus is on that note. And then we're going to lift our index finger. And again, the focus is on that open G string. So those three plucks. Personally, I like just focusing on the third and second strings when playing these three plucks. And put that together with the first part. Down, down, up, down. Then for the next section, it's almost identical in terms of the way the structure works, but the shapes are gonna be a little different. So instead of a D chord, we're now getting our pinky finger and putting it on the fourth fret of the fourth string. Now we're gonna strum this with the same down, down, up, down. But really try to focus on making sure that you're only strumming from the fourth string onwards. Then after that section, we have another three notes that we need to focus on. So the first one is the index finger on the second fret of the fourth string. Then the open third string. And then with your pinky finger, come back onto the fourth fret of the fourth string. So those three notes. And again, it's a free style of playing. So if you do happen to hit some of those other strings that are underneath it, then that's okay. So that second half of this first line of tab. And the first line of tab in total. And one more time. So that pinky finger is gonna be a little bit of a stretch for some of you, but just really take it slow and eventually over time your pinky finger will get that dexterity. For the second line of tab, we do return back to the D chord. So it's the same as what we had in the first line of the tab. So that strumming section is down, down, up, down. And then we're going to change positions here. So your middle finger will now lift off and then go onto the third fret of the fifth string. You can lift your index finger as well. The three notes that we're gonna focus on are the third fret of the fifth string, and then the open third string, and then with your index finger, come down onto the second fret of the fifth string. So those three notes. And with the strumming section. And to end this riff, we're going to just go back to our D chord, but it's a D sus too, because we wanna hammer on our middle finger into place on that first drum. So the strumming is a down, down, up, down, up. 
and that first strum is where we hammer on. And then for the next section, it's just a D sus two for the first drum, and then D for the rest of it. And again, it's that down, down, up, down, up. So the second half of this second line of tab. And the second line in total. And when you put all of that together, it's actually quite simple, and this is the main riff. And one more time, super slow. Now I really encourage you to just practice that at a slow speed first and preferably along with the metronome and then slowly work your way up. So that's it for the main riff and then we get to our chorus which is super, super simple in comparison. There's just four lines of chords. Our first line of chords is just D minor and we're going to be strumming this with four strumming patterns that goes down, down, up, down, up. So four strumming patterns like that on the D minor and then G for four strumming patterns back to the D minor for four strumming patterns, and then we have E minor for two strumming patterns, and then A7 for two strumming patterns. So the chorus is as simple as this. And that's all you need to learn for this song. Now the structure of the song goes like this. You play that main riff four times, and then there's the chorus, and then you play that main riff another four times, there's another chorus, and then you end the song with three more of that main riff. And that's all there is to it. So now I'll be doing a full playthrough of the song, and I'll have a vocal track on top for some context. A big thanks to my friend Eric for lending his awesome vocals. Feel free to play this back as many times as you'd like to, to practice, play along to, and see how you go.
Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this lesson, then I know you'll absolutely love these other lessons too. So hit the link here, or if you want to grab a copy of my free guitar ebook, then head over to guitarzeritohero.com or click the link here. Thanks so much, and I'll see you guys next time on Guitar Zero to Hero. Cheers.